Good morning, good people. This is your pool proof wisdom moment for Friday. Something that's grown out of the pandemic of the last 16 or 17 months, I think it's 16 or 17, has been the sense of disconnection people have had from what they consider to be their normal lives. And one real important outgrowth of that is that people have learned that they are uncomfortable being in their own company. Being alone, not being able to engage in the way that you normally did, being around people so that you don't have to confront yourself has been difficult for a lot of people. And I do understand that can be a difficulty. That is not something all of us can embrace, but that does not mean it has not been problematic for those who found themselves in that position. That I understand. But increasingly, what has been happening is that people are so desperate to hold on to individuals coming out of that experience that they are willing to go way beyond the pale when it comes to what they will do simply to maintain the relationship. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a whole lot of you out there who prior to the pandemic were the same way. You had the disease to please, and if it came to relationship, saying that you had someone in your life was more important than whether you were happy, whether or not you were fulfilled, whether or not you felt like your life had meaning because that person was in it versus being by yourself and letting your life have meaning in and of itself that way. I get it. Not my choice, but yours. I am in no position to judge it. But what has happened in the time since the pandemic has begun to lift a little bit, and it's difficult to tell exactly if it's lifting, because as quickly as things seem to go back to normal, we get too crazed with being free and we start to see things moving in the direction that may be taking us back to where we were, where we were so uncomfortable. A time when you did have to stay in the home, where you did have to wear the mask and do all the things all the time. So it's a little bit of a weird situation to find ourselves in because are we in the pandemic still or are we coming out of it? It remains to be seen. But for those people who have been challenged by what they have lived with and lived through for these 16 or 17 months, it's either going to get better or worse. So let's go a little bit back now to this contention I have about people being comfortable with themselves. If you were not comfortable with your own company, if being alone made you raise questions about the value of your life, if you didn't understand that there is more to living than just being amongst and around other people, it is difficult for you right now because only slowly are we returning to what was considered a normal and that may change. If it does change, what will you do? Who will you be? What will your life mean to you? These are all important questions, but you have to be prepared just as we were at the height of the pandemic for the fact that there are gonna be instances in your life with or without a pandemic where we're going to lose people, where we are going to have relationships that break down, times that we find that we simply don't have things in common with people anymore. In work relationships, those things are going to pass. We're going to have all kinds of circumstances where there is going to be a tendency for people who are in our lives to move on, move forward, or in some instances, yes, actually stay with us. There's the old saying that some people are in your life for a season and some people are in your life for a reason. Only time determines which is which. But if you are one of those individuals who, being desperate to hold on to people, to not feel alone, to not stand in the center of your own life and confront yourself on a daily basis because you want to make sure that you don't have to, you're going to have some real challenges ahead because the world has shifted. It never is going to be exactly the way it was before this pandemic hit. That's not a bad thing. It doesn't have to be at least, but it depends on how you're going to look at it. And what that means is that you can't go through the rest of your days desperately clinging to every relationship, no matter what. The number of people I've come across who are smart, insightful, wonderful people who will nonetheless put up with all the BS in the world from people just to have them in their life, I've lost count of the number of people and it's so unfair to them. But they are scared because when they did have time alone, they did not like what they had to contend with themselves. So instead of doing that, 
and being uncomfortable with yourself, I'm encouraging you to find an avenue that gets you to know yourself better, to have a relationship with yourself, to love yourself, to like yourself, and to make yourself better by constantly working on yourself, not to the extent that you exclude everybody, but to the extent that you instead are not necessarily in a position that without people constantly coming in and out of your life, you are going to be in a position where you are not happy. The truth is, if you are spending all of your time focused on trying to keep people in your life, trying to make sure that no one leaves you and that life doesn't go on as it necessarily will, the only person that you're going to ultimately end up excluding from your life completely is whom? It's yourself. You will get to a point where you're so desperate trying to hold on to the relationships that are in your life that you are going to forget yourself and not have a relationship with yourself. And if that happens, people, what's the purpose in the first place? Here's what you need to know. Learn to live with yourself. Learn to like yourself. Learn to appreciate your own company. Learn to embrace the essential nature of who you are, no matter who that is, the good, the bad, the ugly. And in doing so, if we are again in a situation where we are necessarily required to spend time alone, to be separate from people we care about and love, we will learn to do what's necessary to keep ourselves moving ahead, knowing that it's okay because guess what? You like yourself, you love yourself, you can be with yourself. And when the time comes again that you can reconnect with those people that you want in your life, you can do so. The only difference is you won't be desperate about trying to keep them there if they're not interested in staying there. Don't ever lose yourself to the extent that you're willing to hold on to everybody else at your own expense. That is the worst thing you can do, whether it's in a pandemic or outside of a pandemic, because your life has value. You matter in and of yourself, and you are, as they say, enough. If you remember that, you will never feel lonely or alone again. And that is your foolproof wisdom moment for today. Find me on Spotify, on Apple and Google Podcasts. Platforms everywhere featuring podcasts, of course, will include foolproof wisdom. And you can always, now and forever, that's the good thing about life being digital today, you can find my book, I Am My Own Cause, The Third Act, Surviving and Thriving on Audible, on Amazon in print form, and of course, on online booksellers everywhere. We've made it to yet another Friday, the beginning of yet another weekend. Whatever you do, find a way to make it a good one. Enjoy.